This is a baby jogger compact bag, and today we're going to show you how to remove all of the textiles so that you can wash them in a washing machine or conduct small sewing repairs. So with this bag, it's going to take a bit of unscrewing in order to remove all of the textiles, and uh, you are gonna need a variety of different screw heads, but most of these will come in a standard bit set. So you will need a regular Phillips size head, you will need a th number three or three millimeter uh, hexagonal head, and then you'll need two number four or four millimeter hexagonal heads, as well as a pair of screwdrivers. I don't have a pair of screwdrivers today, so I'm going to use a pair of pliers in order to hold one of my heads. What you're gonna to wanna to do to start with is remove all of the parts that you do not need to unscrew. So that would be the storm cover, then the mattress. Now the mattress has a zipper on the back so in case you don't want to actually wash the uh, foam padding inside, you can just separate it out. There you go. And then in the bottom of the bag is a plastic baseboard. You're gonna to wanna to carefully remove that as well, being careful not to crack it. Now we need to start unscrewing, and we'll start with the canopy itself. So if you lift up the side padding here, you'll see a screw head here. And this screw head is actually sort of two screw heads that screw into each other, two screw elements. And the other one is the one here on the side of the canopy. So this is the point at which you're going to need two screwdrivers and two four millimeter hexagonal screw heads. One to hold on the inside, and one on the outside as you unscrew. It is a spring-loaded system, so don't lose any of the parts. There also uh, is also a plastic washer. Just be a little bit aware of how it all goes back together. Okay, I'm just gonna unscrew the other side then. Screw head, spring, plastic washer, and then the other female or tubular element of the screw from the other side. And now you can actually pull off the canopy and you'll notice that this is just a metal rib that runs through a uh, plastic channel in the front. Make sure it doesn't get hooked on the fabric there. Slide it out. There is a second metal uh, rib here, but uh, that one you actually have to slice in order to slice the fabric in order to get it out and re-sew it if you're interested in that. Uh, it's all a little bit bendy, so you can pretty much just fit it in a washing machine as it is. Okay, now we get on to the larger element of the textiles on the bag itself, which is uh, often the part that gets yellow and really needs to be uh, cleaned. And in this case, you're going to need to remove then the uh, adapters that attach this onto the stroller, the mechanisms here, and for that you will need the Phillips head. Two, and the third is here. The third is a longer screw, so you want to be aware uh, of where it goes in relation to this larger piece. And then there is a last one here underneath. That is the same size as the other two. So it's only this one here, right next to the lever, that is uh, longer. And you can just pull that out a bit. You don't have to pull it entirely off. Okay, turn around, go to the other side. the in 
this case, three out that are of the same length. And that longer one, I'm just gonna pull it out until this detaches from the bag. There we go. Okay. Now there are four additional screws in order to remove these textiles and they are on the bottom, they are in the feet. For these you will need the three millimeter hexagonal screw head. And they're quite easy just to screw right off. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, at this point, you can start to just pull off the textiles from the metal frame. We'll all just slide right off. Now you can throw all of these textile elements in the washing machine. If you wish, recommend washing it on 40 degrees with just whatever usual detergent you tend to use for laundry. Uh, in any case, that is how you remove the textiles from a Baby Jogger compact bag. We hope that this video was useful to you. If it was, we ask that you subscribe as it helps to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.